Yo, what's up, Tarnish? It's your boy, Albi, and we back with another video. In today's video, bro, we're going to be talking about Demon's Peace new update. They added a new island. They um, also added a mythical fruit, a rare fruit, and, you know, just a few couple of things. But, you know, before we even start the video, make sure you leave a like, comment, subscribe, bro. We'll go through this, you know, quick little showcase. Well, not like showcase, but talk about what's in the game and, you know, the new island location and stuff like that. So let's get straight into it. So first and for first and foremost, right? So if you see right here, impel down. Wait, no, no, no. I can't even pronounce that, bro. But uh, fortress, indomitable fortress. There we go. I don't know. It was just like a tongue twister for me. What can I say, bro? Um, but yeah, if, while we on the way there, we can talk about the max level. Max level has been increased to 850 bounty cap um raised to seven seventeen million, 17 million so now you can get some more bounty and game progression made easier instead of just grinding kuma and sea dragon so you can level up much you know better i guess and you'd have like more fun stuff to do end game and pcs now ch um can hit you if you have Loki unless you are okay so if you're like five levels ahead of a npc bro they can hit you now so until you five levels ahead of them you know there you go so and then they added three new bosses a new um world event they added rubber which i said already um they added a cactus pick i don't know what that is the indomitable fortress which we said already the string fruit cool we covered that um new rare vampire race so the vampire race gives you um variant five var uh, oh it has five different variants it gives a five percent life steal on players and 10% on NPCs, 5% more critical chance and 15 more passive regen and then nighttime. So it's it seems really it seems really good, you know, for a for a rare vampire race, it's not it's not bad at all if you if you ask me. Um they added four new weapons, all right? And they put unlockable um posters. Oh, they got two new unlockable posters. You know how you could customize your um posters and stuff? Now you have a few couple posters that you can, you know. You have two new posters that y'all can unlock to, to use. Alright, they added a, the trimmer effect revamp. They revamped Buddha also. So we'll do a quick um um trimmer trimmer and Buddha showcase because they did revamp them. So we're just gonna go ahead and do that. And new accessory buffs type life steals. Alright. So let's go ahead and see what we're working with here. So let's let's see real quick. Accessory buffs. I wonder did they add life steal to these? No, they didn't add life steal to these. Just critical critical chance. I feel like this wasn't here last time last time I played, but you know, things things change. But first and foremost, what we're gonna what we're going to do is we're gonna use Buddha. So we're gonna go to our handy dandy shop right here. Then we're gonna scroll down. Then we're gonna equip Buddha real quick and see what this revamp is talking about. And then we go try out trimmer right after. All right, for for visual effects, uh, it looks the same. Ooh, ooh, hold on. Okay. Okay, 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 okay. I see what they did there. I see what they did there. It looks it looks better. Higher quality, high, just higher quality Buddha all around. I fuck with it. I mess up with it, bro. Really like it. Um, trimmer, trimmer's next. Trimmer's next. Let's see what trimmer's talking about. Trimmer. Okay, first move looking nice. Oh my, I like this. I like this. Nah, that's tough. I like the little glasses just going up. Yeah, it really does. It, it really does add depth to the ability water the waves you know i've never paid attention to the waves, so i can't tell if it really changed that much but i do like the little water splashing effect and stuff like that really cool i'm telling you man it's, uh... and now if we go in here you have your npcs and i'm assuming you know the boss raid will be right here which i'm you would have to get a key from now i don't know exactly how you start this key raid yeah, once you once you obtain the key, so which I'm assuming is gonna be from the world event. So once you do the world event, um, then you get the key. Then you can pull up over here, and then 
you can open the door or it might work the same way with the chip you know how you like you just look through chest and then the chip activates for you one or the two but yo make sure make sure you leave a like comment subscribe bro join the family we're on the road to 15k subscribers i just thought i would you know cover on this update i feel like if i didn't post for it it'll be you know let down this is um let me know what other videos y'all want on the game if there's any help that i need with anything if y'all would like me to go live it doesn't like really matter we could all chill and then my discord will be down below the game's discord and link will be down below if y'all interested in a one piece game this will be here for y'all to try out but brush your hands, take care, and I'll catch y'all in the next video. Peace out.